Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to the next section of our Execute Automation Reporting System or otherwise called as ERS and Execute Automation Test Harness System or otherwise called as EATS course in Udemy. So in this section, we'll be talking about building EA Test Harness System or otherwise called as EATS and this video is going to be the introduction of our EATS. So as you can see right now, we have Visual Studio, SQL Server, PowerShell and Pickles icon is enabled and the reason is because we will be discussing most of these technologies in, in this section. So let's get started. First of all, what is test harness? In software testing, a test harness is a collection of softwares and test data configured to test a program unit by running it under varying conditions and monitoring its behavior and output. It has two main parts. The one is test execution engine and the test script repository and this content is actually available in Wikipedia. You can go back and look that. I have just copied from there. And you can also see that it has two main parts. Any given test harness system has two given parts. The one is test execution engine and the another one is test script repository. In our case, the test execution engine is going to be our end unit, which is going to execute test for us. And the test script is going to be the DLL file or otherwise called as the EA auto framework tests or otherwise called as the scenarios of our spec flow, which is going to be executed. And those are the test scripts repositories. So we will be executing n unit test using n unit engine here. So what is the objective of our test harness system? The typical objective of a test harness system is to have automate the testing process. Whatever testing we do, we have to automate them and then execute the test suite of a test case and generate the associated test reports. Once again, I have took this particular content from Wikipedia. So what are we going to develop here then? We will be developing a system to call the execution of test run via nUnit, generation of nUnit test result.xml file, running the pickles command to generate the reports for feature files and integrating the pickles report plus any unit test result.xml file for pickles failure report. So those are the different kinds of stuff we will be doing as a first phase. Just remember, this is a first phase. By the way, how are we going to do these things? Well, PowerShell is the answer. We will be doing all the test harness system with PowerShell. And the part of the reason is because PowerShell is a script where it can be executed by any of the continuous integration system which is available currently like TeamCity, Jenkins or Visual Studio Team Foundation Server. So you can use any one of them to perform the operation and PowerShell is the only key to perform those kind of operation very very easily and effortlessly. We will be discussing about PowerShell in a small crash course in upcoming videos of this course where you will understand how to work with PowerShell more easily. By the way, what is this pickle suddenly? If you have already enrolled the course Automate Framework Development with Selenium C Sharp, you should be seeing a section called as Pickle Reporting System for SpecFlow and we have two videos discussing how to work with Pickles as well as Pickles UI. And once again, Pickles is a tool to generate the living documentation for our SpecFlow scenarios. So let's get started then guys.